Hello everyone. To solve this problem, we can square both sides, put one, you know, one of them on the other side and so on and so forth. But I'm going to show you another method, which is, I think, very cool. So we're going to go ahead and write the radical conjugate of this expression, the plus sign. Let's go ahead and call that y. And don't ask why. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply these two things because they're conjugates, and when we multiply them, we get something like a minus b multiplied by a plus b, which turns into a squared minus b squared. So let me write it down for you. a plus b multiplied by a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So when you multiply these two things, this is my a and this is my b, I'm going to be getting square root of x plus 2 squared minus square root of x plus 1 squared equals 1 times y, which is y. Great. Now, when you square the radical, these two things are going to cancel out or disappear, whatever you call it. You're going to end up with something super simple, x plus 2 minus the quantity x plus 1 equals y. But that's just 1 because x's cancel out, 2 minus 1, so y equals 1. So why don't we just go back and replace y with 1, and let's see what happens after that, okay? So now, after making the replacements, you're going to get something interesting because now you can add these equations instead of multiplying. Because if you just multiply, you're going to get 1 equals 1. But when you add them, these two are going to cancel out. We're going to get this first radical twice, and 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Divide both sides by 2, you're going to get 1. Square both sides, you're going to get x plus 2 is equal to 1. 1 squared equals 1, remember that? And from here, you get x equals negative 1. Uh-oh, can we have a negative solution? Absolutely. If you actually plug in negative 1, you're going to realize it is indeed a solution to this equation. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.